Hey everyone, this is Neil Napier here. Just give me a very quick second. All right, uh, can everyone hear me? Just type in a one if you can hear me all right. And the two, if you can see the screen as well. So this should be the screen now. Get ready to see some real magic. Okay, hey Chuck, good to have you here from Las Vegas. Who else do we have here today? Let me just see, we've got Randy. Hey, give me one second. I'll inform everyone that we have started and then uh, that, way, that way we have more people on the call. Right. In the meantime, let me know what part of the world you're coming in from. It's always good to know where our audience is joining from. I got to be a little bit quiet now because the baby's asleep. So, <laughs> so I have to keep it a little bit down. Okay. Cool. All right, there we go. Uh, I can't understand you. Can you hear me now? Can everyone hear me? I think someone said they can't quite hear me properly. So one more mic check would be awesome. Can you understand me? Let me know. Okay, cool. So Hot Choices, uh, interesting name. I will let you figure out what's happening on your end. Uh, maybe you have some video playing in the background of me in which case you might want to pause that. So I want to show you something really cool today. I'm going to show you how we drive traffic and build authority out of thin air. Now, it is going to seem like magic, maybe so, but it is really, really a powerful technique to drive traffic and build authority the way you want. I'm going to be showing you how to leverage. Stefan, could you please help Hot Choices? Just help me out in the chat, man. Okay, um, all right. I'm going to tell you how you can leverage other people's content to build a full content marketing system that adds easy six figures to your bottom line. So we've been doing this for a while. We've been leveraging content to essentially build a business. And I'm going to show you how to do that for yourself, but without actually writing a single word if you don't want to. I've got a lot to share with you. It's going to take about 45 minutes, maybe to an hour, but I got to ask you this upfront. If I promise you to give you some great content today, do I have your permission to take 10 minutes to give you a great offer for you to consider? If that's okay, just type in yes in the chat. Okay. And again, that's just so I know, you know, if you don't want to see the offer in the end, you can leave, that's okay. But I want you to know and understand that there will be an offer at the end of the session. Take it or leave it. But if you do, then we'll welcome you with open arms. If you don't, well, that's fine as well. So stay until the end if you want to be one of the three people as well that gets a copy of Curation Lab. We actually tried to do the session a couple of hours ago, but my internet, my computer crashed at that time. So we're doing it again. And uh, we are going to be giving away three free copies of Curation Lab as well. So I need you to focus completely on the screen right now because I know it's quite easy to have distractions, to have phones and Netflix going and you're kind of just watching and not really paying attention. Please don't do that because you're not going to get the most out of the session. If you're just going to see it, you have to listen to me as well. You have to hear my voice because I'll be telling you some very important things that you need to execute in your business. Today, you'll see a simple system that you can use to leverage other people's content to profit. I'm not talking about saying, you know, just get engagement, just get likes, comments, and shares, because that stuff doesn't pay your mortgage. That stuff doesn't help you go on a holiday. What helps you make money is actually things that can merge into sales. So that's what we'll be talking about today. Now, if you don't know who I am, my name is Neil Napier, and um, I started from nothing. I say that, but, you know, I had a very decent middle class of bringing my parents were always kind of taking care of uh, all of our needs i didn't get everything that i wanted for christmas but i got what i needed right but when it comes to setting up a business i had a very difficult time uh doing that i got fired from my job it was in 2008 2010 it was a recession period and i just started doing a software uh, programming job and i got fired from my job because it was just 
I just was not able to, you know, keep up with the market at that time. And it sucked. So I ended up going into freelancing. I started doing content writing for $4 an hour. And I have to tell you that when you are doing content, when you're working, you know, as a developer, let's say for about $15 an hour at that time, and then you have to write content at $4 an hour, it's not fun. It's really not good. So I thought, okay, I'm going to just, you know, save some money. I couldn't save a lot, save like 250 bucks. And I'm going to actually start a business, not just do freelancing. And I turned that into a content writing business where I could charge $5,000 per month altogether. I was making five grand a month, which is, you know, again, a nice place to be, but I was still changing time for money, as they say. And I was able to also get more clients and scale things up, but really it just wouldn't go beyond that. I couldn't turn it into a six figure uh, a year business easily if I wanted to. So what I decided that was that, hey, I'm going to become a product creator. So I'm going to create software products uh, using what I knew before. Now, that's all well and good. But even as a product creator, I need constant content. I need to be active on social media. I need to have, uh, you know, blog posts basically going out every week, if not more often. It's not that easy. So I transitioned to becoming a product creator, but I ended up actually hiring people who were like me. So people who were writing content, I ended up hiring them and paying them a lot of money. Now, the reason I'm telling you all of this is because I more or less, I feel, have taken the journey that you might be on right now. So maybe you're still employed nine to five and you're kind of doing this on the side, or maybe you recently jumped in full time, or maybe you've been doing this for a while, but you haven't quite had the success that you wanted. And I'm telling you my story because I want you to understand that I literally have had years where you know, I just, I couldn't make enough money, even though I tried, like freelancing. So I have struggled financially as well. Luckily, I don't have to anymore. Uh, I've got a 10-month-old kid and a you know wife, so that keeps me busy as well. And, and I want that, that balance between having a good life and being able to make enough money as well, right? So making enough money actually pays for that good life too. So if you want to get to where... I feel I am now, and you're not, do pay close attention. Because my current situation is I'm always traveling. Um, since I had a kid, you know, I'm a little bit more grounded, and I've learned a lot on the road. The most important thing I've learned is how to optimize my business. Like I was telling you, I had content writers before. We used to have three content writers full time, and we were paying them close to $4,000. I realized how I could fire two of them and just will have one editor instead by using automation. So that's what we do. So now it's my turn to give back and share what works well for us. Okay. So let me ask you this. Wouldn't it be awesome if you could share fresh and viral content with a single click on social media, on your blogs? Because that's what drives the traffic. That's what drives the engagement, which then drives the sales and profit. So instead of, you know, if you've thought about content marketing before, you've thought about, you know, creating content, would it be easier if all that content was available to you in a single click, right? Hey, thank you. What choice? I don't see your name. So let me explain actually before I go any further, what's the difference between content creation and content curation? Because some people don't quite get it. So content creation is where you either do it yourself or you pay someone and you write like, you know, more or less every single word of a blog post. So you're writing a thousand word blog post and you're writing it yourself, it may take you, let's say, about four hours, or if you outsource it, depending on how much you're willing to pay, could cost you anywhere between 50 bucks to 500 bucks, even more sometimes, right? That's more or less unique content, though I tend to think now there's nothing truly unique anymore online. But then, this is content creation. The other way is content curation. Content curation involves you finding top content out there, and sharing that with your tribe or sharing parts of it or completely with attribution. That is very, very important. You've got to give attribution back to the source. Otherwise, it's stealing. Otherwise, it's plagiarism. So content curation won't say if you go to, uh, let me go to Mashable or let's go to TechCrunch. So for example, if I come across a really good article here in Mashable, I'm going to tell my audience about it right? 
what I don't want to do is copy, let's say, all this content and then present it as my own. That's cheating and stealing and you don't want to do that. But if you, for example, share this link on your Facebook newsfeed or fan page or tweet about it, or if you even just take part of it, like say this one, copy and use this, but also add your little bit of expertise to it. So you add your little bit of, um, how should I say this, your own comments to it, then that's curation. So there's two types of curation. Curation one is where you take parts of content and you add your own spin to it. And I don't mean spinning the content, but you add your own opinions on it. And that becomes like a bigger article. The other option is that you just take the links that you have and you share them, let's say in social media, uh, on Facebook, LinkedIn, Twitter, and so on and so forth, right? So it goes both ways. And you have to cho choose which one, uh, which is the one that you want to do, which is the one that's better for you. That's content curation. But content curation works really well because you don't need to write all the content from scratch every single time. I mean, some people are in business where they're posting five times on the fan page every day. You can't do that if everything you're posting is unique. Sometimes you need to post something that's been done before and that's okay. Which is why I think this is the best way to go. It is, I think, a fit for everyone because, you know, the more you move forward with technology, you'll see more and more content online. And what you don't want to do is fall in that trap where you overspend trying to create unique content all the time. Instead, you want to be able to curate content from other sources and give them attribution, but also add your own text to it so that it is somewhat unique. And like um, someone says here, it is fresh and friendly. Exactly. So I'm going to jump in further, but before I do, I do want to give you this disclaimer because it's, it's kind of important. I will walk you through a specific system that I'm using myself and is making me huge earnings at the time of this webinar. My results are certainly not typical, and there's a good chance that you will not get the same results. However, I am happy to show you exactly what is working for me right now for free. This is not for get rich quick people, work from home business people, or for the ones that simply know the system but never use it. So by being on this call today, you're kind of promising to me that you're going to go ahead and actually execute as well. So you're going to take action. Okay? So I want to walk you through three steps that I think are important for you to leverage other people's content to build a full content marketing system that adds easy six figures to your bottom line. So if that's okay, if you're ready, just comment yes, type yes for me so I know you're ready. I'll grab a sip of water and we'll get into it. Okay. Perfect. Let me just quickly check who's actually on the call. Uh, we've got Steve, hey Steve, and uh, Chaz as well, Ron Brookings, Randy, Missy, Martin, Louis, uh, Louis, Joseph as well, Jonathan, James, Hans, Guy, Dave Cocker is here, hey, uh, Chuck, Cedric, and Anthony as well. Cool. Okay, so let's go ahead. The first thing you need to know about this system, this method, is that you need to find content that is shareable. Now, what I mean by shareable content is this. Let's say if you're reading, I'm going to jump into, let's say, BBC website for a second. So I read BBC quite a bit, don't judge me in any way. Uh, but I'll go to BBC and, for example, let's say I come across, you know, this post, it's, it's a sports post. Now, most likely it is not going to work for my market because I say people who are in business, sure, some might watch football or soccer, but most probably won't. So uh, if I, for example, even though this might be a really good post, if I share that with them, it's going to fall completely flat. So what you need to do is you need to find content that is shareable and you have a few options. So you can go to sites like Mashable as I was telling you earlier, you can go to BBC, Fox News, whatever you want, and you can find content there that fits your market, and you can take pieces of that and you can then either share, share that as is, or you can just, you know, tell other people about it. So that's all completely okay. 
it's it's an okay thing to do. Um, but what you need to also understand is that it's a bit tiring because you have to log in daily and you have to find in good content, right? You literally have to go in to Fox, BBC, Mashable, and all these different sites, and you have to find okay which kind of content is actually good. So it can be a bit tiring. Or what you can do is you can set up Google Alerts. So I was playing with this earlier today. So let's say if I go to Google Alerts. Okay, I'm going in here. Okay, so I could literally add a new keyword here. So that keyword could be, um, say, recession, because I think the recession is just from the corner. Uh, so I could add that, and every day I would get an email about, like, hey, here's your keyword being used, right? So I could get updates about that. But that's all well and good, but the challenge still is that you're going to get a lot of updates, and you're only going to get them, like, once a day, and you're going to have to wait for the content to show up. Now, to me, that's a little bit of an issue, because if you have to wait for content to show up, then you're not really being proactive about it. You're not really going to build a real business. So the method does work. I think if you want to do this right now, you can do that. You can find uh, content that's really relevant to your market by just using Google Alerts or going to relevant websites, but it's a little bit slow. The system that we use speeds everything up. So the system we use is called Curation Lab, and I'll show you how that works. So Curation Lab, let me just refresh this to make sure I'm still logged in. Okay. Curation Lab allows you to find, discover, basically trending content or viral content. And both are different, right? So trending content is content that maybe was just posted like an hour ago, like this one, right? So this content from Vox was posted an hour ago, and you know it's trending. Like if you look at the number of Facebook uh, shares, it is trending. So if I look at this, the kind of content that I want is content that was posted like less than, say, five hours. So that's one of them. Uh, this is another one, right? And then maybe some more here, right? That's the viral content and trending. So if I if I just want to go for trending, which is content that just was, you know, made like an hour ago, thirty minutes ago, something like that, I could find it here. So for example, if I go further down, you can see this is the content that's that was added like an hour ago, two hours ago, or three minutes ago. And that's really good because this way now I have really strong content that was just posted a while back. If I wanted to drill down further, I could do that. I could pick specific websites that I wanted to drill down. I could pick article age. I could even pick keywords. So I could say, for example, recession. Let's go for one week. Search. And I can find these two articles about recession. So if I wanted to serve it to my market, I could either view this and it opens up the actual post. Alternatively, I could post it. So if I click on post, I now have the option to automatically post this on my blog as well. So you can see, let me just extend this or do this. See, here's the blog post, right? I can edit it as I see fit. I can remove some links if I want to. I mean, it's up to me as long as you don't remove the core attribution. That to me is very important. But now I can post it on my website. I can also post it on social media, right? So if I just go ahead with this, I have the option to also post on social media at the same time. So I could post on my fan pages, LinkedIn, Twitter feed, so on and so forth. When you're done, click next. You can do it instantly or you can schedule it. You can say, hey, I want to schedule it for, say, 16th at 2 p.m. Or let's say 15th at 18.15. Done, post. And what it's going to do is going to put it into scheduler. So I'm just going to show you the scheduler here. So you can see there's a post kind of waiting to go live. It's also going to go live on social media. Okay, so this is how you curate content quickly. You can do that. So this is a blog post. You can do this for social posts as well. 
I actually went too far to share all of this. I'm going to just go back a little bit through the slides as well. So the first part is discovering the content. The next thing is you need to recognize content that is good and will get engagement. This is really important because you need to understand exactly what viral content is. Viral content is a type of content where people would be more likely to share it with others. Right? That's kind of what you're looking, at, looking for. If I post this, will my audience share this with their own friends and family? That's viral content. And you know this when you look at it. I mean, if it's, for example, uh, a groundbreaking news right now that you know everyone will be talking about, it's viral content. Alternatively, if it's like a, you know, a cat funny video, you yeah, had a viral post as well. But if it's a, a, you know, let's say a post about how to view the stars in the sky at nighttime or how to take a picture of stars in the sky at nighttime, that's not going to go viral because it's not exciting enough for it to go viral, right? That falls under trending. So trending is like topical content, timely content, that's just coming alive right now. So for example, Conor McGregor, who's a, I think he's a fighter, I think MMA or something, he punched an old man in a pub and that content is trending at the moment, right? So that's pretty good. One way to find trending content is going to Twitter and just saying Twitter trending. Okay, so Twitter trending gives you keywords or, or trending key, um, hashtags which are basically trending right now. Right, so I could choose, just for simplicity, I could choose US and it'll bring me all these. Okay. All right. Okay. So, and just so you know, if you're interested, this is how we get the content. So we have content sources here and we have like hundreds of different content, content sources. Some of them are our own, but some of them are actually added uh, beforehand for you, for everyone. So there's like hundred plus content sources here. Right. Then you have analytics as well. So you can look at your Facebook posts, you can look at engagements and you know, the posts you made as well. So you can check all them out and see what they look like. So this one was posted. I can see this is a WordPress post and this is what it looks like. All right, and because it's on my side, I can just go in and uh, edit that later on as well if I want to. So you need to understand what is trending, what is viral, and you need to pick a post accordingly. The third thing you need to know is how to curate content for blogs and social media. Now, what I told you earlier was, let's say if I wanted to use this post, I'm going to go in here. I'm going to just wait for this. Okay. I'm going to copy all of this. Just copying all the extra stuff as well, which is a bit annoying. Okay. I'm going to copy this and I'm going to log into WordPress. I'm going to create a new headline create this pose, add in the images, you know, it's going to take me about 20 minutes to half an hour just to do a basic job. And that's not good enough. You got to do more. You got to do more. So in that case, uh, what I think is curation lab is better because it automatically makes your post without you having to go into your WordPress website or your Facebook account, your LinkedIn, Twitter account, and all of these places. It does so with a single click. Right now, if you're wondering, I think Corker SA is asking, uh, how is it different from other tools out there? Uh, I think what the key difference is that we're always adding new sources for starters, but secondly, also, you know, we're going to get an amazing discount. You'll see that in a few minutes. We're not going to be priced just monthly. You'll have an option to get a one-time license as well if you choose to. So really, the benefit of using Curation Lab compared to anything else at the moment would be getting in early enough. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at that. So I'm going to jump back into the presentation. Okay, then I showed you how to publish as well. It's quite easy. Um, so I've shown you the tool. Basically, I know I kind of ran through it because it's really simple to use. I don't really need to do some complex edit for you. Who here wants to curate 
fresh and modern content without all the manual hassle. Who here feels that this is something they could do? Joseph, so again, as I mentioned, the reason this is different is that we're really going out there and uh, getting content from multiple different sources and new sources are being added. I've never really promoted or even created an all-in-one curation app before. This is the first time. Content Gorilla is only focused on YouTube videos, so getting closed captions from YouTube videos. Uh, curation Lab is for all websites, and Curation Lab doesn't do YouTube videos. So the way to understand that would be Content Gorilla is more for creating, Curation Lab is more for curating. Okay, yeah, Green John, it might be similar, you're right. But again, like I said, I think what we have for us going is that we will be at a one-time price, as you'll see soon. So what you're getting initially, let me actually change this. Uh, it said Curation Lab 12 month license, there's actually, let me change this, it's one time. So you have the opportunity today to get Curation Lab at a one-time price where you can get unlimited content, you can get instant results, detailed analytics and reports. There's link shopping support as well for um, bit.ly URLs and others. There's automatic, automated content discovery. Uh, you have customizable niche content, and it's really easy to use, basically. And there's also integration with free stock photo sites. Um, what we're giving you as a launch special is bonus and bonus commercial license, which would basically allow you to use this for your clients as well. So if you had some clients for whom you wanted to manage their social media accounts, you can use that as well. It's all from one dashboard, though, just FYI. But yes, you can use that in that case. Then. We're also giving you a special workshop on the 22nd of August at 2 p.m. Eastern. It's going to be about how to make six figures per year with content marketing. So we're going to take Curation Lab as a base and go a few steps further and show you how to build six figures a year business with that. Bonus number three is additional 12 month license to Curation Lab. Again, it doesn't quite apply here because you're getting a one time license, which is, you know, changed the deal recently. Now, imagine as well, if you have someone who's doing social media posting for you, what if you could use them for something else? What if you could save that money and put that money somewhere else? What if you could get new trending posts for your blog at the push of a button anytime you want it, not just in the morning, you'd have to wait for an email, it's there for you whenever you need it. And what if this would cost you less than a dollar a day? Like literally less than a dollar a day. Would it still be worth it? So. Think about this, how much is getting instant content every day worth it to you? How much would you value it at? Because what I just showed you alongside that, I'm also gonna give you email list building strategies. So if you wanna generate leads as well using your websites, I'm gonna teach you how to do that. Plus I'm also going to show you how to do guest posts, right? Guest posts means if you want to get traffic from other sites, I'm gonna show you how to do that. So altogether, those are the bonuses you're getting. The offer is pretty straightforward, again, it's not 12 month license, it's one time license. Everything that I'm showing you comes with a 30 day money back guarantee as well. And altogether, I think it's a pretty good package. And you can get it when you go to that link. So when you jump on over to go.curationlab.co, you can get access to this at, it says $37, but it's actually 27. So let me cross that out. There you go. So it's actually $27 for you, and that's one-time license, which means that uh, you won't have to pay for it again once you have it. I mean, there's an option to get it for $17 a month as well, but I think $27 for one time, it's a pretty good opportunity. So give me a quick one in the chat box if you're going to jump in on this session, just so I know, because uh, I do have some extra bonuses as well that I didn't mention here but I just want to make sure that, first of all, that you are jumping in, so that I know. Let me see some questions as well, go and answer that. I'm not sure I understand your six figure per year statement. Randy, what I mean is I'm going to show you how to use content marketing to build six figure a year business, where you can either leverage organic traffic or even offer content marketing services to clients like I used to. Randy says, selling a service to post curated content is not going to earn you that much money, well, that's the thing, Randy, you've got to mix it with unique content as well. 
I'm not saying curation lab and just take curation lab and turn that into a service. I'm going to show you how to build content marketing services using curation lab as a base. Okay, one software is not going to build a business for you, but I'm going to show you how to make this a key part of your business. Uh, what are the social services you can connect to and post to? Randy, let me show you that. Give me a second. Okay, so let's go into integrations. Or rather social accounts. So you can post to Facebook, Twitter, or LinkedIn at the moment. We are going to add more, but as with any third party tools, you know, we have to be careful how we do it. Okay. Uh, does it allow you to set up multiple websites, WordPress, or whatever to post to? Yes, it does. You have the ability with the main offer to post to up to 10 websites, Jonathan. Okay. There's no discount after 27 bucks, trust me. Uh, it was actually higher, more expensive a while back, but we reduced the price, but 27 is the lowest you're going to see, and it is going to go up when the timer hits zero. Yeah, Lewis, it's a one-time fee of $27. There's no pub note. There's no 12 months. Like I said, it is one time. 12 months was our previous offer. We have changed it. So let me just change it, change this for everyone. So there's no confusion. There you go. So it is one time license. We're not charging you after 12 months. Uh, is this the full product, the upsells? I'm going to talk about that. But John, everything that I've shown you right now is included in the package. OK. The price should be 27. Uh, let me just check. I'm just going to load it another page and check it out. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Sorry about that. Let me just pause the screen and Change it. It looks like someone in my team actually went back and changed the price again. Okay, that should be done in a few minutes. Uh, thank you for pointing that out. Does it does the website rank in Google? Over time, yes. I mean, I, I won't pretend that you're going to rank into Google immediately, but yes, over time it is going to rank in Google. Of course, it, it all depends on how much content you're putting out there. Uh, yeah, Jonathan, you can go to that link and purchase right now. I'm going to drop the link again for you. Uh, Randy, that is correct. So the one-time model doesn't for us uh, encourage development, but we do have a recurring upsell, which you can take as well if you want. And uh, this is being built out as a long-term SaaS application. So we do have intentions of continuing to build it. And really, I mean, you have to, you're getting a pretty good deal at 27 bucks because for 27, it's impossible to get a software like this. Like really it is. So you're going to have to trust as well that it's going to last. If you don't, then don't get it. Like really, it's perfectly all right. Okay. Sorry, we only have PayPal option at the moment. For these low ticket launches, we can't do credit card options at this stage. 
Okay, so who's jumping in at 27? Let me know because I have some additional uh, bonuses for you as well, but only for people that are getting in on this call. Let me know. Okay, I'm in at 27, says William. I'm in, says Dave. Uh, P. Malone as well, just for it, says Randy. Pablo says one. Jonathan says one as well. Okay, good, good. Let me just find those additional bonuses for you. Okay, so I can't share my screen for this one, but I'll just talk you through it. So recently I gave away my SOP standard operating procedure to find keywords to rank for. It's a very detailed, very thorough procedure. It actually takes about, you know, two to four weeks to do. So it's quite time consuming. But once you do that, you'd be able to find keywords that you can rank for easily. And they also drive in a considerable volume of traffic. I'm going to be giving you access to that SOP as a bonus. Secondly, the other bonus is that I'm going to be sending out additional content marketing training uh, where I'm going to show you how to map out your own content marketing based on the keyword research that you do. That's going to be ready on 20th of August. How you can get it is by simply um, contacting support desk, letting us know. Support at kaiviewer.com is okay. Let me type that in. You can let us know that you got this via the special webinar and uh, so you want the additional bonuses and my team will make sure that you then have access to those bonuses. Okay, Randy, I think I answered the question already uh, or to someone else, Content Gorilla, was more for getting closed captions or subtitles from YouTube, turning that into a post. This is more about curating content from multiple different sources and turning that into a post. But this is not, we're not grabbing content from YouTube here. Okay, that's the one key difference is that we're not grabbing content from YouTube here. That's not the goal. That's okay, that's fine. Okay, so this is Curation Lab. Let me walk you through Give me a second So let's go to I'm going to walk you through the upgrades as well. So Curation Lab Pro uh, is basically it has additional features um, such as ability to connect to 100 websites, connect into 500 social accounts, so you're not restricted. I think the main offer has 100 social accounts and 10 websites, so you have 100 websites and 500 social accounts, plus you get additional feeds that you can siphon content from, and you get additional 100 custom feeds that you can add as well. Okay, uh, so you get a lot more capacity with this. Plus, we have a built-in content spinner and a built-in graphic designer as well. And there's outsourcers license included, so you can add 10 team members here as well. Okay, so this is the recurring offer because it has a team license and additional feeds. I mean, you're paying, I think, close to 500 a month for these additional feeds as well, some of them. So you have two options here. You can either get it for monthly 27 a month or yearly, right now 87 a year, but the price is gonna go up to 97 a year um, at midnight Eastern tonight. All right. Okay, any questions about the Pro? Give me a two if you're interested in getting in because Pro basically unlocks a lot more features, especially if you wanna build a content marketing agency, you're gonna need other people logging in. 
And that's what the 10 team member license allows you to do. Yeah, the link for the pro I can give to you, but please note that if you get pro without actually getting the main offer, you're not going to get access to this because you need the main offer first. That's cool, Randy. Um, so uh, Green John, as I mentioned to you, we are quite similar to the competition. We are another curation tool, but I think the key differentiator right now is the price. So I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to say that, oh, we have a ton of other features that they don't, but the key differentiator is the price and also that we're quite open about the sources that we're getting content from. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Pro features look awesome. Yeah, I think that they are pretty good. I think the inbuilt designer, the built-in designer, the content spin is really good as well. I think in all honesty, um, it should do well for you, but there's also monetization built in. So you can actually also curate content from Amazon feeds or eBay feeds. And I think, I think eBay is included, but that's good for you because then you'd be able to essentially get monetizable content. Okay. All right. Any questions so far? Cool. Okay. Uh, then we have another upgrade for that one. I will let you just check out the Check out the sales page. This is called Takeover, Curation Lab Takeover. And it's a little bit different tool in that it lets you put your own ads, let's say, in front of other people's content. Right? Uh, it could be hello bars that you could do and you could redirect traffic the way you want. There's more to it, but I really kind of want you to check this one out because I don't have a demo ready for this, so I can't show you that immediately but it will essentially help you take over anyone else's page and put your own content in front of it. Okay. Cool. This is $47. I think that we planned it to be 67, but uh, this is 47 bucks for you. And then we have finally training, which is course curation training. Again, it's it's entirely optional, but if you are in the business of selling courses or if you want to sell courses, I think you're going to find this very useful. Okay. Yeah, so the special bonuses that we have are, let me just find them. Special bonuses that we have for you, if you sign up on this webinar, are a copy of our standard operating procedure where I show you how to find organic keywords to rank, and as well as additional training that I'll be sending out on 20th of July, uh, 20th of August, sorry, that will show you how to do better with content marketing, basically give you a much clearer content marketing plan. So if that's something you want to do, you can implement yourself. Uh, is Takeover integrated into the Curation Lab dashboard? It doesn't need to be. It's almost like a separate application. Uh, it doesn't need to be integrated in. So Curation Lab Pro is right now 87 a year. Curation Lab Takeover is 47. And the course curator training, I think, is 27.
Right. Uh, can you place ads like webs and uh, AdSense on websites? Yeah, I mean they're your own website, so you can do whatever you want with them for sure. Okay, so sure, that's it from my side. I think uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. If not, then we can end the session soon. And again, remember, if you are getting this on the webinar today, please mail support desk immediately so they can take down your email and send you those additional bonuses as soon as they become available. Oh yeah, I promised three giveaway copies. I'm going to do that now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find people who engage the most in this session. I'm going to pick those. Uh, if you did get Curation Lab already and you win a copy, I'm going to give you Curation Lab Takeover for free or Course Curator, whichever one you want. I can't give you the Pro, but I will give you the Takeover or the Course for free if you already got Curation Lab. Is that okay? Give me yes if that's okay. And again, I'll pick people randomly based on your engagement. Just going to close my eyes and find someone randomly in this list. Okay, so the first one is Jonathan NP. So Jonathan, or rather Jonathan P. Jonathan P, if you could please drop your email address, then my team will be in touch with you and uh, we can let you know about either again the curation lab or if you already have it, then take over or course creator for free. So that Jonathan is number one. Then number two, we have Randy. So Randy, same with you. Uh, if you already have curation lab, which I think you do, you're going to get the takeover for free. Okay. Some people are saying I don't mean anything. <laughs> okay, let's see if I can make it luck today. And then I'm going to also Pick the third name, the third name is Corker SEO. Actually, it's your email address, so that's easy. But just in case, Corker SEO, please write down your email address, and then my team will be in touch as well with you. And Stefan, if you could please note down all the email addresses, that'd be great. And we can send these fine people some free software. But okay. Uh, Chuck, good try. That's not you. Uh, you're not Corker SEO. Okay. Stefan, if you could please take down Jonathan, please uh, email. That'd be awesome. Brian, if you want to reach out to us, you can email support at kaivio.com. Support at kaivio.com. Okay. Uh, Joseph, I think News Profits, Profits Pro only works for um, number one, news articles, right? That's the first thing. Second thing is that it only builds a website on their system. In our case, our system works with your WordPress websites. So there's different. Okay. Uh, what are your plans for futures of this software? More content sources to begin with. I think that's one of the things that we want to work on, adding in more content sources. I would like to improve the usability as well. Uh, and again, all of your feedback would be really useful there. But those are the two key things that we have planned for the next few months. Good question, Ron. I appreciate that. Ron's keeping us honest. <laughs> Okay, that's it everyone, then have a good rest of the day, and uh, we'll talk soon. Take care, bye.